Today we'll be talking about how to set up your local workstation to send logs to our Nectar client. This includes setting up inventory on local machines, as well as setting up your agent manager to send logs over to your Nectar device. So, without further ado, let us get started. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to our documentation site in order to get the inventory uh, install installers. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to docs.nectarlabs.com and from here what you want to do is go down to device setup and then active directory you're going to see navigate here or support nectarlabs.com what you want to do is click on this little link right here which will bring you to a zoho download all you're going to do is download right like that and then wait for this to ins to download to your device Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up inventory and agents. You're going to unzip this folder right here. And then next, you're going to be brought to a screen like this. So what you want to do is you want to open up this file right here. You can ignore version 1. We will not need version 1. All you will need is version 2. So what we can do is just rip out version 2 and place it where you wish to have it stored. For now, we're just going to leave it on the desktop. So copy that onto the desktop, wait for it to go through, and once it's finished unzipping, what you're going to do is open up this file, and as you can see right here, we have a bunch of different things. So most of this is only used for domain controllers, specifically Windows Server domain controllers. So you won't need half of these files, but what we will need is going to be this agent manager setup, as well as the OCS uh, the actual OCS packager. So anyways, we'll get to that in a little bit. For now, let's worry about our Nectar Labs Agent Manager setup. We're just going to start this right on up. Next, what you want to do is you're going to open up this uh, more info area right here and then run anyways. And what that will do is that will bring up the uh, the actual install installer for your agent manager and you should be seeing a window kind of like this after maybe being asked for administrator pr permissions uh, this can take anywhere from a few seconds to a minute or two depending on how fast or slow your workstation is and all we have to do is wait for this to install and then you're going to be brought to one final screen that looks like this. Um, what you're going to do is just going to click finish right here and keep this checked because we want to go into the Nectar Labs agent manager. And so you'll be brought to a screen like this. So all you're going to have to do is put in the IP address of your Nectar box into this IP address bar right here. Uh, for example, we're going to use 172.16.5.228 since we've been using that for the last few examples and either hit enter or click this button right in the corner here. And now you will see services that can be installed onto your local device, which is up to you what kind of uh, services you want installed. So for example, you're gonna definitely want metrics installed since pretty much that's just that just looks at the health of your uh, workstation itself. You will need this to be on just so you can record that kind of information. And then from here, it really depends on what services you want to have enabled. So the second most likely service you're going to be wanting to have actually installed will probably be Windows Event Logs, which you can click here. Since we're just doing a local device and not have and it's not a active directory or file server, we just want to have PC enabled, so make sure this is all zero first, and then click on just PC to get the events you want that's relevant to just workstations. If later on you want to have other event events recorded from this machine, you can go in here into each of these, and let's say I want, if someone want trying to RPC into my device, I can turn that on as well. And you can just do that for all these. But for now, the only thing you really need to have on are going to be these few uh, additions here. And all you're going to do is click Save Changes, make sure it's saved. And then all you're going to do is click on that to have it start running. 
if you want to record uh, any file changes occurring on this device, what you can do is actually turn on your audit data service right here. And then you can go into this to have these paths monitored for any file changes. So currently we're just monitoring system 32 and the Windows file. If you want to have more sections uh, looked at, you can go over to add paths. Let's say I want the entirety of my computer to be looked at. While not highly suggested, you can do it. You can select this folder and now we're checking everything in our C drive. It's up to you what paths you want to have monitored. These two are fine to start off with for file integrity monitoring. All you have to do is again, click save changes once you have the paths you want selected and make sure that this is running. Finally, we have file logs, which is where we can get uh, logging info. It pretty much works similar to audit data. You will most likely not need to have this enabled. This is more used for Linux, which we'll be going over actually right now. Before we begin, the first thing that should be noted with the Linux Agent Manager is that it is still in beta. This is a brandy new Agent Manager and some features such as a GUI, which is present on Windows, will not be present here. So you will need to use the terminal commands in order to set up your Agent Manager on Linux. As a little side note, however, as well, it should be noted that the same commands that we will use here can pretty much be applied almost to the exact same degree onto Windows. So if you wish to use command line on Windows instead of a GUI, instead of like the GUI that we provide, you can as well. To find out more information on that, you can go to docs.nectarlabs.com and you can go under the section which should be the agent manager navigation section. Second, this is, the only avail this is only available for Debian-based Linux systems. So if you're not using a operating system such as Ubuntu, then you won't be able to use our agent manager. So operating systems like Red Hat, for example, cannot use this agent manager, as at least for the time being. Hopefully in the future, we'll have a version out for Red Hat users as well. Lastly, the link to the agent manager can be found here. Let me get that up on the screen. If you need help installing the agent manager, please contact us at support at nectarlabs.com and we can help you getting this set up for you. And without further ado, let us dive into how to set up your Linux. So to start off, what you're going to want to do is after you've installed the program that's needed, you're going to type in nectar underscore agent underscore manager. This is the command you'll be using to actually set up the agent manager to start collecting logs from your uh, Linux system. Now, the thing you're going to notice is if you try to start this now, you'll see that you're not going to have enough administrative permissions. You're going to be you're going to want to be into a, a uh, root account. So what you're going to do is you're going to do sudo it's the same command as before agent manager underscore not plus type in the password and now you will have this whole listing come up now another way you can do this if you don't want to keep doing sudo that command whichever you wish to use here you could just do sudo i and now just leave you at the root at root for now um, the only thing i will say with this though is when you're in a uh, root be very cautious because you can do anything in root and the last thing we need you to do is brick your Linux system. So if you do do sudo I make sure that you are only touching the commands here and nothing else. So next what you want to do is you're probably going to want to start setting some of this up. So what I would probably set up first is going to be nectar agent manager change IP address. So change address the command that is if I keep stop misspelling that which is up here and then what you're going to do is space and the string will be the value of your IP address so for example we had the IP address in our previous examples of 172.16.5.228 now if I click enter you'll see that we now have our new IP address pointing to 172.16.5.228 this is roughly equivalent of if we go back to our Windows system, going up to this address bar up here, 
typing in the IP address that we want it changed to and pressing enter. So returning back to the uh, to the Linux system, we can go back to our previous thing. And next, what you want to start doing is actually installing some of the actual agents we have available for you. So the first thing you want to do is probably go to install agent up here. And we're going to install the following agents from, I'm going to say, bottom to top. So first we have, I'm going to just do install type in install agent over here. First we have metrics. Uh, just like Windows, this just uh, generates reports based off of uh, your current computer status. So this will tell how much storage is being used on your Linux device, how much CPU, RAM, etc. is being used up on this device. Next you have the, you have files. So files, what it does is it basically checks checks any file being changed in a certain area. So what this can do is basically monitor system logs. So basically you can monitor any logs coming into a certain area. So let's say you want logs being monitored uh, under slash library slash forward slash um, e logs for example just on, on the top of my head what you can do is you can actually look through those logs specifically under here so let me see if we have any yeah i want to look at logs that are entering this folder right here for the gui you could probably do it through cd as well but i'm just going to kind of show you through here quick and what we can do is we can actually check all logs in here. And the way we would do it is we'll just get the file path going here. So that's home desktop example. And what we can do is go over here and basically we can find where that is. So for example, ls slash home. All right, nectar. Now it's under desktop, so we can go to desktop again. This depends on what you actually want monitored. So we wanted that folder to be monitored and everything in it. So we know where the actual path is. And what we can do from there is going back up here, you see add monitored logs. This actually adds a log file or path to be monitored by the file log agent. So what we can do is nectar agent manager dash dash add monitored logs or dash f for short and then we can actually put in the path here so home nectar desktop example example and now that is actually a monitored area so now we'll monitor anything going into that file last but not least we're left with audit so what we're going to do is just like before we're going to type in nectar agent manager dash install or dash I believe it was I yep I audit and now we have the audit service working and pretty much similarly to the way audit worked on the Windows system this just tracks any kind of uh, basically does file integrity and make sure that no files are being tampered with and if they are it records who did it when they did it how they did it what did they do etc and you can actually tell it what kind of uh, folders and files you want it to do, same way we did it before with the Nectar Agent Manager, uh, the actual monitored logs for file logging. And pretty much what we can do is, let's say I also want to check integrity in this folder here. Remove this. And instead of it being a monitored path, we're going to do add integrity path. I think I spelled that right. Yep. Hit enter. And now that will be added to the list of files it's checking. So before it's just checking bin, user bin, s bin, user s bin, and uh, etc. Now it's checking that folder as well. And if you want to check the statuses of all of these, what you can do is do nectar agent manager dash dash status. 
And this will actually show you what's currently running and what's being monitored. So currently we see that audit files and metrics are all running, sending it to the right IP address. We see that we are currently monitoring files under home slash nectar slash desktop slash example, as well as we're seeing that we're monitoring uh, these files for integrity. And just to make sure it's running, what we can also do is make sure we can start an agent as well. Seems like audit might be having some issues, so let's just make sure it's starting. Nectar agent manager start. Well, let's do this first before I scroll all the way up to make sure the command's right. Yep. Start audit. And this will just make sure the surface is running. So now if we go back to status from earlier. Yep, everything's good. Okay. And that's pretty much all you need for actually setting up Linux. Um, it, from there, what you can do is if you ever need to look at what you want to change or edit, you can just always look back to these. You can also enable uh, audit D monitoring, which uh, actually checks for uh, sending Linux audit framework logs. So let's say I want to enable it. You can also do that. That's what that disable part was about earlier. Nectar agent manager dash dash enable audit D monitoring. So now if we were to go back to what we saw earlier with status, we'll see now that it is enabled. And that pretty much covers everything for Linux. Again, if you ever need to look at the commands, we have it on docs.nectarlabs.com, or you can always just type in just age, Nectar Agent Manager by itself, and you'll get this nice little list of options available to you. So returning back to our Windows workstation, last but not least, what we want to do is install the OCS inventory to your workstation. Now. Unlike with GPOs where you have it pushed through a GPO, what we're going to do here is actually we're just going to go right to this agent installer and click on this. This will bring up the uh, manual agent installer. And from here, what we can do is bring this over here and just follow the steps like here. So first hit next, then agree, and then you'd be brought to a screen like this. Then what you want to do is go to next and you're gonna see this right here. You're gonna delete this, make sure you keep that forward slash, and you're gonna type in between here and there your Nectarbox IP address. For example, ours was 172.16.5.228, then you're gonna do colon 5000 at the end of it. Next, you wanna put in user admin, password admin, and then click next. You're pretty much just going to keep clicking next until you reach this page. Um, the def this is by default, but you can change the actual location you wish to have this program installed to. And then finally, all you have to do is click install. And you would be brought to a progress bar like this. And with that concluded, your Windows or Linux workstation is ready to send logs in a Nectar box. Next video, we will discuss how to set up your Nectar box to start listening for logs coming from the devices we just set up in this video, as well as the previous video. I hope to see you then.